like we always do about this time. What's going on out there, artists? It's your boy, Coach, back with another video. And today, I got some sauce for you. I'm going to give you five surefire ways to approach any type of beat, no matter what genre, no matter what tempo. Before I get into the sauce, I ask that y'all please like the video for your boy. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first method I want to show you guys is the pre-roll. It involves you starting before the one hits. That means you're going to start your line or start your bar right before the beat drops. So when I show you this example, I'm going to count all four bars in the beat. And you'll see when I start my line, it'll be right before that one comes in. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For I'm in the motion, my son in the son of Lelosis. I started right before the one hit. Got him under the sun of you dumb bitch. And I'm fun of the foot of the assumptions. Got a son in the thorn and that dumb shit. And I dance on the trap like the under the feather, the feather the set it like nothing. Yeah, yeah. Now, the second method involves you rapping a half measure. Basically, it's rapping all the way until you get to the two. Half measure just means half the bar. For example. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Obnoxious money gets so fast. Don't bun a song, send up on the phone, fit the dash. I'm so high on the sands, I fuck around and crash. Got money in the bank, money in the stash. Yeah. Now, that method involved a lot of space because I was only rapping half of the bar. Now, method three which is rapping on the snares. This involves you placing heavy emphasis on the snares. That is the two and the four. I'll start off by counting them and then I'll jump into the rap. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Driving, money bobbing, son of money was done the bobbing, son of none of the living the private, son of money the living the lavish, and I put emphasis on the snare though, said it don't even matter the rare folk, and I thought it's enough in the fair folk, and I'm drunk and I'm half the queer folk, and I switch it up to one syllable. My son of son of son biblical, son of son of son to done nittle do, money up on the front to bomb minimal, son of fun of fun. Okay, now the thing about that method is you can place a rhyme on every snare or you can skip every snare and place a rhyme on every four. Guys, if you want to learn more about flows and becoming a better rapper and a better artist, you got to join my Patreon. For $10 a month, you get access to all my exclusive content plus lifetime access to my Discord. Link in the description. Now, the next method is heavy accents on all four beats. It's kind of like the one we did before where I was placing the heavy accent on the two and the four, but now I'm going to place the heavy accent on the one, two, three, and four. All right, let's go. Four. One, two, three, four. I've been the man in the fun and the sun and the gun and the man in the pen and the sun and the fun and the front of the side of the fun and the sun and the challenge. Man in the man and I'm keeping the none on the scale so I'm losing no balance. I'm sipping the cup and I double it up and I'm popping it up in the chalice. Riding the Cadillac don't even suck that they know that the nigga gon' speed though. So the thud of the fud of the fun and the fun and I feel like the one like I'm need yo. Matter of fact, I never just need hoes. Now, that one is going to be filling up a lot more bar because I'm trying to hit every single accent that I... Now, when I talk about accents, I'm talking about the specific parts that you hear in the beat, whether that's the snares, the hi-hats, the 808s, the kick, the little piano part, anything that you can grab onto and place inflections in, whether, you know, that's leaps and... and you know, dips and stretches and, and yells and whatever you can do with your voice on those different parts of the beat is going to create an even more unique flow. Now, the last method is my favorite one, which is simply starting on the two. What this one is going to involve is it's going to have a pause before you start your flow. This creates a very unexpected flow. People aren't really used to hearing this. A lot of times what's more common is the pre-roll and the starting on the one. But the starting on the two is just effective. Shout out, Dre. Four. Mm. Four. One. Two. Three. Four, two, three, four. Driving the man in the fun and I'm going insane. 
I'm hot in the bitch and I might as well be on the plane. These niggas are rather gonna roll this on shit is plain Jane. They say that they fire, but a nigga gonna come with the flame. Pull out the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope this video was of value. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.